Hello everybody, Prince in the Bear here. We're back. Another local eats video. Yes, this black owned restaurant is called 534 Scratch Kitchen. We're continuing our Black History Month featuring black owned businesses here in Orlando, so it's time to do these meats. Be sure to have Al Kumahal. You heard the girl. So I was impressed by the menu for this place. I mean, I thought it was just gonna be like a club from the outside and it does sort of seem like that, but the drinks were high class looking, at least the menu. They definitely had a lot of options. I would agree. More than what's on this menu. I got the Jenkins Mule. It has pomegranate in it. It's a flavored mule. But the flavoring was so perfectly blended that it was like the best mule I've ever had. Mulicious. Highly recommend I had three of those. I will say that I have come a long way with these princess and her copper cups. And even though this shocked me when I tried it, Definitely deserve the four out of five claws. It was one of the best mules. This is the J. Henry Highball. It has whiskey and ginger in it. It looks weird in color and it was a little watered down in taste for me too. Not really my jam. I'm glad I didn't get it as a drink. I'm not really sure what I was expecting when I ordered a drink that was just whiskey and ginger, but I definitely wasn't expecting Mountain Dew. It was alright. It deserved its rating, but the Princess's drink was better. This is the vegan. It has a spicy tomato sauce, caramelized onions, a spicy garlic oil, poached garlic, and Brussels sprouts on a flatbread. There's no cheese. It was very, very, very garlicky. Not only were there whole pieces of garlic, but the garlic oil too. The slices looked incredible. I was very hesitant to try it, especially with the Brussels sprouts. Once I started eating it, it was the best cheeseless pizza I've ever had. I inhaled the whole thing and would gladly have a second one. Could not stop eating this pizza. Did not want to share with Bear at all. It was just that good. All the ingredients went together so well. It just tasted perfect. It was my jam for sure. It'd be on my bare necessities list if I had one. I wasn't expecting anything from this pizza, about as much as I was expecting from our current panorama. But with the rest of their vegan menu, they didn't have it. So this was, I guess, the next best thing we could do. Went to that first bite though. Heaven. Surprised that it added up to being that much, given that it was just veggies on bread, basically. No cheese. I was like expecting it to miss it, but it was actually one of the best cheeseless pizzas I think we've ever had. I almost felt bad, bad for doubting it. She'd let me, I'd stolen the whole pizza. Worth the rating of five out of five claws.
The salad was less a wasabi salad and just like a regular Caesar salad with wasabi peas on top, which felt a little bit lazy. It was just a Caesar salad with like pre-packaged wasabi peas on top. So it didn't taste spicy or wasabi-y in the least. But it was fresh. And if you're gonna call something a wasabi Caesar, I expect a wasabi Caesar. Caesar dressing on the salad. So I got lucky. You got an average rating. Above average, slightly three. But it deserved it. I do love my brussies. I can't resist. I think the princess is getting sick of me ordering brussels sprouts at this point. But I'm just jealous of how good they look out when we go out somewhere compared to how I can make them at home. But nice deep flavor, nice roast. Like charred, but not burnt, but still like tons of flavor. I could have survived off just those without the salad. Definitely better than the salad. Well deserved rating. I decided to get something fancy with these lobster sliders. They didn't look as pretty as I expected. They were definitely very messy. Just dripping with the sauce everywhere. The buns had a nice feel to them. Like, just, just look at the drip. This is not what I mean when I say respect the drip, Karen. more like lunch house sloppy joes with lobster on top because they were sloppy like me after too many smoked turkey sloppy but rich in flavor i couldn't have had more than three that's for sure because they were extremely rich the bun was probably the saving grace If they'd had a little bit of less sauce, it would have gotten a higher rating. So, that was dinner. The music was super loud, so yes. we just could not could not. So I hope you guys enjoyed the voiceover, but it's, yes. uh, it was butt thumping loud. Like, you could feel it in the spine sort of loud. Yeah, it was definitely <laughs> getting a massage. The food was incredible. I was very surprised, given what we walked into. Yes. I was expecting a lot, but I was totally surprised. This is probably the Agreed. best cheeseless pizza I think we've ever had. Agreed, 100%. But I would definitely come here for another visit to try more of the menu and definitely more of the drinks. Agreed. So, we want to know, have you guys ever been here? Comments is going to be a place to let us know. If there's anywhere else around local in Orlando you think we should do, that's going to be a place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl.